Wow, thanks for ruining the story. Let's go around here. By a rather large number of monster prints on the ground. A wry smile plays if you pull from your pack the scrap of paper you picked up. You feel around in the grass for a few moments before your hand, the scrap of paper, tells no lies. You greet a Free chase. money, baby! Let's do this. Take a peek inside the grass and immediately find that it seems like the harpy hasn't yet noticed you. Startled, the monster flaps its wings and flies away. You find some coins scattered about where it stood. A message is written on the sign. Seek out the four stela hidden deep in these woods. Let's do this. He barely took that out.
nice work. particularly special. He resolved to touch it anyhow. As you listen closely, you are struck by a sudden dizzy spell. The grass rustles, then a monster slowly, realizing you've been caught in the harvest trap. Okay, can't do that no more. We will, but we will look more every time now. Let's do this. Some time after that, you find yourself trembling at the mere sound of a bird's tweet. I'm rich. the enemy.
found the eastern stela. You see the words Melody of Fortune chiseled into the corner. Every single time I want to go home. Ah, what a pain, the frowning woman sighs. Uh, the next Stila is, you hear someone murmuring. It sounds like a man, but you can't really be sure in these woods. Solid looking nuts whipped to and fro in the force of the gale. This doesn't bode well for you. The worst number. Nuts fly off the trees and smack you and your friends right on the head. Everyone's faces screw up in agony. Southern Steel. You smack it and hear a sound off to the west. You'd best head that way.
2. Feels as though your fatigue has somehow washed away. to be lost. How do I get out of here? She asks with furrowed brows. the end.
you examine the Stila. The mess you hold the woodland flute you received from the good doctor in Thryston. Do 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 lead. Do 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 do. You blow a handful of pleasant enough notes into the woodland flute. You soon become aware of accompanying percussion, which reveals itself to be a series of impeccably timed footfalls racing toward you. A young woman appears before you. That was absolutely dreadful, she whinges, her jaunty gait betraying her enjoyment. She calls herself Riddis and declares herself a woodlander, resident of the bewildering wood. By sheer coincidence, the flute on which you played those notes was one designed to call the woodland people to your side. Stunned by your good fortune, you ask Riddis to lead you eastward out of the forest. What luck! She agrees far more readily than you ever anticipated. But, she continues, extending her hand, you'll have to hand over the woodland flute first. You hand over the flute, firmly restating that she may have it on the condition she leads you out of the bewildering wood. Riddis plucks the woodland flute out of your hands with glee and begins playing it as she skips away. Riddis makes it clear that the fastest way out of the woods is through woodland, where she lives. It's that a way, Riddis says gleefully, pointing past the stela before you. An enemy appears right before I leave. Welcome to Woodland, Riddus says, gesturing out over the village. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm quite busy for the rest of the day. So you'll have to wait till tomorrow to leave the forest, she says, and makes her way home. Welcome to the forest oasis, the man greets you warmly. You happen upon a man greedily guzzling well water. Could it truly be that much better than ordinary water? This shortcut is reserved for use by woodland citizens only, the guard barks, clearly unwilling to let you pass. Apparently she's heard rumors of the dr Our village would burn down so easily, she mutters, perhaps a bit more afraid of the symptom than the cause. You learn that Riddus' family is mired in debt and living hand to mouth. And I know how they got in so much trouble. We are not in the business of meddling in the personal affairs of others, Melanie says curtly, cutting her off.
Thank you.